an omnipotent state all present here. I'm Sandra Chekir, pursuing MSc fourth Sam Forensic Science from Sri Vaishnava Institute of Forensic Sciences here to demonstrate how to do a druggist fault to collect the evidences. So, what is druggist fault? So, druggist fault is nothing but it is a collection of trace evidences or any other small evidences in a package of a paper. So, how this druggist fault was name came from? So, usually this was a term which was given to the pharmacology where the pharmacists keep this druggist fault for collecting the medicines or the pills or the small powders in the paper. So, now let's see the requirements for the druggist fault practical. I utilize the following items for conducting this experiment. The hair sample, paper, ruler, cellophane tape and a marker. As I said before, the drug is false method of folding paper commonly used in pharmacy and also in forensic science for collecting the trace evidences or the small evidences. So first, lay the paper flat on a clean surface with one corner pointing towards you. Fold the top corner down to meet the bottom edge creating a triangle. Then, crease the folding firmly to secure it. Open the paper back to its original square shape. Place the hair sample in the center of the square. So, I have taken a bit of hair samples. So now I would like to take this a pinch of hair sample and placed inside the center of this paper. So, as I said before, now lay the paper and fold the top corner down to meet the bottom edge and creating a triangle. Fold one side of the square over the powder or the hair sample. Bring the edge to the opposite edge to form a triangle. So press along the edges to secure the fold. So now you can see this is folded. Now fold and the remaining triangle over the first fold creating a smaller triangle pocket or a packet. So now I have folded and dropped into it, we can see it. So the one corner has been placed inside it. Press along the edges to secure the fold. So now you can see the druggist fold is made where there is no contamination or no tampering occurring in this druggist fold method. So further for the chain of custody we use as a sealing method where we will be taking a thread and tying it over in this and we will keep a seal with using any of the sealing pad. So how we will do the collection and sealing process in forensic science. So the druggist fold ensures that the medication or the hair sample is securely contained with a paper packet for dispensing. You will be having a question, why is a druggist fold better than an envelope? So the druggist fold is a better way to store the trace evidences than an ordinary mailing envelope because it provides a secure and tamper evidence package. The folded edges of the paper create a barrier that keeps evidence inside the package and make it difficult to tamper with or accidental open. So you can see that there will be no any accidental opening occurring if we have completed with the sealing of a thread. So that's why we use this a druggist fold method than a tampering of an envelope. So when we conclude, this experiment aided in practicing a safe collection and packaging technique for small trace evidences. So this is packaged the evidence in a way that they were secure and did not allow evidence to be lost. So this is how we demonstrate the practical druggist fall method using the paper and the hair sample. So I hope you all have understood how we have to package the druggist fall method. Hopeful, have a nice day. Thank you.